All right, what we have here is a BMS-1 and it's a, this one's set up for the internal mount. And so here's the 3D printed part. I'm gonna try to show how to install this uh, set up inside the Solo. It's pretty simple and there are, is no soldering or wiring really to do, just connectors. So typical, if you already know how to remove the battery tray, uh, if, if you don't, uh, you can look that up on YouTube, it's pretty simple. Seven screws, take it out, remove the uh, GPS wire from the board here. So what we have, this one is a, it's got the green GPS, which is this Rev A stock, and it's got the, the copper shield usable not optimal but usable so what we're going to do what i've already done on this one is removed the two screws that are underneath there but it's really easy to do you just peel that back and if you see where that hole is there we have a screw there and one there if you pull those out you can use them to screw uh, mount this in the mounting holes on the VMS to to this bracket. So what I'm going to do is just take off these two screws. set this in here just like that and then Let's see if I can line these holes up right here that one Looks like that one's lining up too. It's a little difficult to get angled in there, but it's not impossible. We'll get them both snug. Now I'm going to use the screws that were in those. This, that holds the GPS in the bracket just fine. And you've got your wire coming out from underneath there. So, then you will take the, the pigtails and push them through the hole of the battery connector. And this will sit like this. Just like that. And we'll put in this screw and this screw. This one. Can fit there if you have skills. I got my skills here. There it is. I drifted off camera. Sorry about that. Okay. 
those are both on. Now your VMS is mounted. Your wires are coming through. This is ready to plug back onto the board. But now this connector plugs into that. But we've removed this from its mount by releasing the little clip that's right in there. You kind of see it. I'm just going to use the blade of a knife to pry it back just a little bit and pop that right off of there. And I'm going to let that come around. Let's turn this back around here. And I've put a piece of tape around this, electrical tape around this connector because it, those are exposed solder points and I just don't want that to get up against anything. Okay, now that you've got the mount installed and it's ready to go, you want, what you want to do is adjust this such that it can easily face up into that arm because that's where the rest of this connector is going to go. It's kind of at the end of this arm in here. So it'll be out of the way. So once you've got this where it'll kind of just poke up in there and the wires are looking good, you may have to twist it through itself like this. Be very careful with these little wires. They're easy to break off of there or here. And you may have to twist it through itself to get it to go. But position it where it'll get back there like that. Okay, and then take this and hold it here, and the way this lines up is just like that. Plug it in and poke it up in the arm where you had it. Poke it up in there. Your wires around if you need to. Make sure they're not going to get in the way because that's one of the screw holes for holding the battery tray down right there. So you don't want to be in the way of that. Just get it up in there. And then you just got plenty of clearance here. Make sure you plug this GPS back in or you'll get a funny sound happening. And then it should be able to ease this on down and put your screws back in. Okay, I've screwed all seven screws back in the battery tray and at this point you've got your battery leads and you've got uh, everything put back together and you've got some options here. You can, you can of course use a, a tattoo lipo. Sits right on there, strap it in however however you like but the strap situation is is there's some options here you can I have this and you can put a strap in underneath it and snap it into those I keep bumping my camera you can snap it in like so and you have your strap held down instead of going all the way around the body it goes just right there and so you can strap in your tattoo pack or you can preferably use your lithium ion battery plug in strap and there you go fly for 20 minutes on this one and the other option for holding your battery down oops, is you can also plug this in Get your battery plugged in. We'll pretend it's plugged in now. And then use this cover.
when the wires aren't in the way it fits perfectly just like that so you can use the new cover that I'm working on which is a it's not tall uh, like the first cover that we came up with for the battery mod this one is about regular height for a solo battery actually it's a little shorter back here in the back so that's the other option for and this is a 6000 ma battery a 6 amp hour battery this is a 4 amp hour battery and it'll fly for about 12 minutes on my solo on a regular solo put it here attach the cables to put that on there and fly 12 minutes well, there you go